is the last show before the Great American Bash. We are live from the beautiful city of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Welcome to Nitro. I am Sikhan, your host, and ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great honor and pleasure to welcome my partner this evening, Smokey. What's up, everybody? I'm here in WCW, but there's some noise, little sucker in the side. That ain't me. Um, it's some ugly guy. I, I'm on the other side of him, so we're going to get this thing started. It's great to be here in WCW. Absolutely. Uh, I tell you what, Smokey, we're getting ready for the Great American Badge. Great American Badge is taking place in San Antonio, Texas. We're right here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We got six big matches in store tonight. So let's go ahead and get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Because the first match of the night is about to get ready to get started. And this is going to be an exciting night. As you said, this is leading up to the Great American Bass, so anything can happen. And I'm about to keep this hobo out that side, man. He smells and everything else. I don't know the fuck he, I don't know what the fuck he ate. It smells like dead fish. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we got the first match of the night. It's Zack Ryder versus Evan Bourne. And Smokey, let me go ahead and set up the framework here a little bit. At the Great American Bash, it's going to be the Battle of the Evans, so to speak. As Evan Bourne will face up against the United States Champion, Evan O'Shea, for the United States title. That's very interesting. And, and speaking of this match, Zack Ryder is on the losing streak as of late, and he has not won a match ever. And that is so. Yeah, that's sad, but true of me. Zack Ryder just can't catch a break here in this league. Well, anything can happen, you always can win. There's always a chance to win in the match. You just got to put your mind frame in it. Trust me, I'm, I'm a wrestler. I know this. No matter how much of a leading streak you're on, you can always make up for it. Oh, you're getting no argument from me, uh, Smokey. This is going to be a very interesting night, as we said, ladies and gentlemen. And what a way for us to kick the night off with this matchup right here. Yeah, um, Evan Bourne can always change things in a matter of seconds with his half flying abilities and his quickness. Well, look, oh, look, 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 look. oh man, I hate to interrupt you, Smoker, but that was a good way to get the match started. Oh yeah. Now what is this? Oh, and the, this takedown, that strong takedown by Evan Bourne, and a nice wheel kick. What do you? I, what my my opinion is. Evan Bourne's going to have to use his quickness and his ability because Zack Ryder's young and he has a lot to prove as, as, as we were talking about earlier and he's on a losing streak. So he wants to prove to everybody that he can, he can be better than what he has shown. So yeah. anything happens. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Smokey. And likewise, Evan Bourne, now I know he's a little bit focused on Evan O'Shea coming up at the Great American Bash. I mean, Evan O'Shea, I mean, Evan Bourne has a chance to um give it every boy has a chance to become the United States champion. Every boy he doesn't want the match to go too long because he got a face off against a tough opponent, Evan O'Shea coming up. Evan O'Shea is a good up and comer and as you say he's the US champion. So um Evan Boy got a big plate to fill to beat Evan O'Shea in my personal opinion and he got proved tonight by showing Evan that he can take out his opponents and this matchup. Yeah. Oh, nicely done by Evan Bourne. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure Evan Bourne doesn't want to get injured at all against Evan O'Shea. Because your injured against Evan O'Shea, Evan O'Shea can find that weakness. And boy, oh boy, he can beat oh. him. With it. Nice close line there by Zach Ryder. He goes with the punches. And now, oh man. And now, wait a minute, Evan Bourne. And again, oh man. Nice Action going back and forth, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, spinning head scissors. Wow, this match has been very high paced. Absolutely. Whoa! Yep. Yeah, absolutely right. Right now, Evan Bourne, ladies and gentlemen, try to stay focused to the matter at hand. I'm pretty sure Evan Bourne wants this match at the end real quickly so he, can, so he can focus all of his attention on Evan O'Shea. Oh yeah, and any time he can hit that, his patented finisher, but um, right now he seems pretty determined on wearing Zack Ryder down. Oh man, he can pretty much say that again. Evan Boy has taken full, has taken full control of this matchup, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh, 
Oh, nicely done right there. Every boy in that, control. Zack Ryder just seems out of focus. Yeah. I don't know what it is about um, Zack Ryder, but he just seems way out of focus. And it was just that losing streak. He ain't won a match. So he needs to he needs to get out of that negative move, uh, mindset and just concentrate on what's in front of him. Absolutely. And I'm pretty sure, you know, Everborn does not want to show any weaknesses, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, Evan O'Shea has been known to injure people. Don't believe me. Act like uh, Carly TC. Wait a second. Wait a oh. second. He hits it. Take that back, ladies and gentlemen. This match is about to be over. One, two, three. And that's it. Hey. What an unbelievable victory for Evan Bourne. But now the question has to be asked. Is he ready for Evan O'Shea? Uh, after that match, I think he's prepared for it. But facing against a guy on the losing streak really not too much. You gotta beat the man to beat the man, as people say. So we will, we will find out at the Great American Bash who's there if he can do it. Absolutely. And I'm saying it's true. To be the man, you gotta beat the man. That's exactly what's about to happen. And now we gotta go to backstage, ladies and gentlemen. This guy, um, he has been on the losing streak, but as I said in the previous matchup, it only takes one one match to get you back onto the winning streak. Now Zach Ryder didn't do that, but Jalen Brown, uh, he got he got a good chance of uh, well, it, it, as I it, I just got informed he is uh I, I think uh, the cousin of the Marcus Carter. Absolutely. I'm pretty sure that uh, Lamar has been giving uh, Jalen tips. The question is, has he been listening? That's kind of a bit hard to tell because, you know, last episode, uh, the family, Jalen Brown, Jack Chapman, they teamed up the base up against John Cena and The Rock. You know, they were bragging like they said they're going to win this thing because Cena and The Rock couldn't get along. But they were sadly mistaken. And ladies and gentlemen, here comes the formal Number one overall power draft pick, the former WCW Intercontinental Champion, and the former WCW Heavyweight Champion, here comes Rick Acid. Rick Acid is a, a, a very impressive individual. As you say, he, he won, was one of the top, top, uh, top wrestlers here in WCW at one time. And it, and it won't take much for him to get back up there because he already built a reputation to be that damn good. Absolutely, you know, I still remember the draft story of what happened. Rick Acid, ladies and gentlemen, the way how WCW got him, WCW pretty much traded the farm just to get the number one, the, the number one overall draft pick. And Rick Acid, because apparently, they believe that he is really, really that good. He's really, really that tough. He's really, really that competitive. And during his first year, he won the WCW Intercontinental Championship and 
and the WCW Heavyweight title. So obviously, you know, he's been living up to the hype. Oh yeah, it, it, you gotta live up to the hype if you're the number one draft pick. If you're the number one draft pick, then you're doing something right. And uh, you got some kind of talent somewhere, you just ain't no fluke or some. I can't really say that because certain, certain people are fluke at number one draft pick. <laughs> yeah, I know Just what you mean. <laughs> I know what you mean. I can name one. Why? Why in the? Uh, oh, goodness! I thought you read that that name. Pretty, you don't ring that that name. <laughs> And meanwhile, ladies and gentlemen, Big Ass is, is doing a number on, on Jalen at the moment. Uh-oh. What is he big doing here? Oh, boy. Oh! Oh, and this big. There's... That with... My goodness, and now Jalen's trying to... Oh, and everything. Yeah, my goodness, and right now Jalen's trying to... Last week. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, the Big American Bash. Big Ass will go one-on-one -on -one with... I guess we could say WCW's resident big mouth, The Miz. Oh God. I think I think The Miz is a big mouth everywhere he goes. Well, that, I mean that's from I me. We all, I'm pretty sure everyone remembers The Miz here in WCW. Whoa! Oh! Big ass. Cut her. Well, I tell you, what, I'm pretty sure everyone remembers um, The Miz. The Miz was a former WCW Cruiserweight Champion and the longest held. Cruiserweight champion anyone's ever saw. I don't think anyone's going to come close to it. Also, he was a former WCW champion, World Heavyweight champion, when he was on Thunder. He's obviously, The Miz, you now he feels that if he could beat Rick Acid, then he's going to get close to the WCW title. Uh, well, he's going to have to show, as I said in a previous statement, to be the man, you got to beat the man. Absolutely. And that's exactly what Miz is going to have to do. Get back to the top. If you want to get to the top, you gotta beat people ahead of you. Absolutely. Just because you beat, just because you beat guys underneath you, does not mean you deserve to be higher than people high above them. Absolutely. So. And right now, Rick Acid is in full control, ladies and gentlemen. And then again, oh, what a drop kick! The cruiserweight title thing. The only reason the Miz lost it because he never defended. Well, that was, well, that is a very important indeed. But right now, Jalen Brown is right back under control. Action going back and forth. Oh! Matchup. Now, Actually got back that momentum. Oh, boy. Oh, nicely done right there. Somewhere. Oh, my goodness. That knee smash. Oh, that's going to rearrange your face. Yep. And he goes for number one, number three. Oh. And he connects. Oh, he could be setting him up for your folks. Oh, wait a minute. He caused, oh, he caused that the acid reflux. And that's got to be it. Oh, no, he's, he's, about, oh, he's, about to put the, he's about to put the nail on this one. That has uh, to be it. That's all she wrote. One, one. two, three, match over. And a huge combination for Rick Acid. I'll tell you what, you know, Rick has to did a wonderful, fantastic job right here tonight, Smokey. But the question has oh, to be yeah. asked, is he ready? Damn. Is he ready for the Miz? I think so. Very much, I do. Absolutely. Awesome, awesome victory for Rick Acid. And now, next time we'll see Rick Acid will be at the Great American Bash. As he go one-on-one -on -one against the Miz. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back.